Okay, today we're going to learn about some word problems here. So the first one that we have up is an athlete on a track throws a shot put. The height y of the shot put in feet t seconds after it's thrown is modeled by the equation y equals negative 16t squared plus 24.6t plus 6.5. As the horizontal distance x in between the athlete and the shot put is modeled by the equation x equals 29.3t. To the nearest foot, how far does the shot put land from the athlete? So the first thing we need to notice here is that our y equation is modeled from the, uh, the amount of time that it takes for it to go up and back down. So it's arching up into the air and coming back down and that's across a time model. Additionally, our x focuses on time as well. So if we think about what's happening here, the uh, athlete is throwing the shot put, it's coming up, and it's hitting the ground. So based on what I've done so far, we know that it's going to be a parabola. It's going to be uh, with a, have a maximum height, and it's going to be facing downward like an upside-down U, because he's throwing it up in the air and it's coming back down. We have a negative in front of the t squared. That's what tells us that this is going to be an upside down u. Additionally, this equation here measures the height at any point within the time that it's thrown from the beginning to the end. This measures how far out it's going. So it's this way is measured by the x equals 29.3t, and up and down is measured by this equation here. So if we're thinking about when we need to find how far it is when it lands, when it hits the ground, it would be at zero as far as the height goes. So I need to find the zero of, the, of this equation, and when I find that, plug it into this one in order to find uh, exactly where our, um, our distance is as far as the x goes. This will find our height when it's at zero. So we set the y equal to zero, and we do zero equals negative 16 t squared plus 24.6 t. plus 6.5. So now by doing that, I have my equation, and I can use the quadratic formula. Negative b, so it's negative 24.6, plus or minus, square root of b squared, 24.6 squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. And our a is negative 16 in this case. So now I plug this into a calculator. So we have negative 24.6 plus or minus 1021 One six all over negative 32. I'm going to take the square root of this. Gives me 31.9. So I have negative 24.6 plus or minus. No, I already did it. Got to come to class on time. So this is 31.95. Sorry, get rid of that square root. And 
going to divide that by negative 32. <clears throat> so when I do this now, I break it up into two separate problems. I'm going to have t equals uh, negative 24.6 plus 31.95 divided by negative 32 or t equals negative 24.6 minus 31.95 divided by negative 32. If I put the first one in the calculator, that gives me negative 0.229 or negative 2.3. I do the second one. That gives me one point seven seven. Now, since we're talking about time here. I can't have negative time, so this answer would be incorrect. It would have to be t equals 1.77. Once I have that, I can plug that into my x equation. Just to finish the problem out, 29.3 times 1.77, and that'll give me the distance for how far it went. Yep, good. Thank you. So that'll give me 51.9. So I use the first equation because T stands for time. I'm using the first equation to figure out the Y. I need one the Y is equal to zero. And then I just plug my t value in that I get to the x equation. And it gave me 51.9. So that's the distance. Okay. I want you to try this one on your own and see if you can get it. You're just going to use the quadratic formula and then plug your t value you find back into the equation for x. So now if I plug this in, uh, 4 times 500 is negative 2,000. Negative 2,000 times negative 16 gives me neg uh, positive 32,000. So this would be 2 plus or minus square root 32,000 plus 4, so 32,004. And that's all over negative 32. <clears throat> if I look at this right now, if I add the top 2 plus whatever this is, it's going to give me a positive divided by a negative. So that would give me negative time. So that one's not going to work. So I would just do the negative uh, version. So 2 minus square root 32,004. all over negative 32.
I literally have 40 calculators in my room and none of them. So. I'll just bring the calculator up here. I'll I think it's it's positive too. Yeah, five point five. What should be? So I think it's just five point five. And now we just multiply that by ninety one. That gives us our answer of 525. So these word problems really are just adding that extra step where you uh, multiply it to put it into the X, but just treat it exactly like you would with 